Now, Catholic communications is the general term for what we do in media here, with the print media, the visual media, or television work, and so on. And, and it's a very costly exercise. Now, for instance, it's going to cost us about $30,000 to get a transmitter that we need, because some of you are not hearing. We, uh, we have to work with flow and so on to ensure that we can somehow get back to some of the um, broadcasting, and I put the emphasis on broadcasting that we had before. But the transmitter costs. <laughs> and right now, folks, the diocese is in some serious financial puddles um, um, where we, we have to repay our loans from the debacle of World Youth Day. Um, we have a, we've had a deficit all along and overdraft with the bank. I don't know how to beg. I wish I knew. But um, I can only trust that there's somebody who will hear this station, this program, who can write a check for a million dollars and save me a headache for the rest of my life as bishop. <laughs> it happened, but, you know. um, well, I don't put anything beyond the good Lord. The generosity um, of God. <laughs> but we, we have a transmitter to get. And then the other thing is, Catholic Focus, which is coming out this week in, a, in its virtual copy, needs an editor, somebody who is skilled in language and somebody who has an idea what it takes to bring out a magazine, a newspaper, and so on, who can take responsibility for Catholic Focus. I would love to be able to say to somebody who has the required skill, not somebody who thinks they have the required skill, somebody who has the required skill and some experience, to be able to hand that over to them and say, take it, run it for us, produce it monthly to starters, and let's see where we can go with it. So an editor for Catholic Focus, that's one of my pleas in addition to the million dollars. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, listeners and viewers, well, there is a, a link that you could click on. It's posted on the Facebook page if you wish to make a contribution for, to the support of the diocese as you heard from our bishop. The link is posted on the Facebook page.